Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Eric Surf 6. Welcome to Eric Mealtime. And in today's episode, it's going to be the convenience store. Let's check it out. Let's have a quick look at the items here. We got some barley tea to drink. This is a garlic cheese bread, fried chicken inside the bag. These are fish cakes. We've got a rice ball here. This is some cooked fish. Shrimp and mayonnaise rice ball. For two desserts, we've got a rice cake here. And then this is Black Thunder chocolate. Woohoo! Oh, looking good, looking good. Who's hungry? Me. What are we gonna start with? The rice balls, yes. This is called a five grain and pickled vegetables seaweed rice ball. Look at that. Love the colors. This is one of the most interesting rice balls I have ever seen, honestly. This is amazing. It smells really pickly. Oh! Wow, so many different kinds of rice here. This is fabulous. Mmm. It's real super tart because of the pickled vegetables. Mmm. Most of all, I just love the colors and the variety. This is a really good rice ball. Price for this is 116 yen, just over a buck. And the price for all of this stuff is 1198 yen. That's about $11. These here are called chikua or fish cakes. They look like this. <laughs> you get two. Almost looks like a donut, doesn't it? But no, this is a fish cake and nothing inside. Sometimes they'll put cheese or salami inside. Just the basic. Mmm. Oh. This is actually really good. It's kind of rubbery in texture, but nice flavor. I like that. It's kind of fried on the outside and then sort of soft on the inside. So in English, they're describing this as tube-shaped fish paste cake. To describe the flavor, it's kind of salty, a little bit fish-like. Next up, we gotta do the sandwich. Yep, and it's all about the bread here. It's all about getting a good piece of bread for the sandwich. So this is garlic cheese toast. It's very soft. Oh, it smells so rich. This is gonna be perfect. Fried chicken in the bag. I forget if I ordered the spicy one. Yep, I did, definitely. You can tell by the red color. This is definitely the spicy one. Look at that. <laughs> Still hot. Okay. DIY chicken sandwich. Roll it up like that. That's looking pretty good. The bread is very moist, I can tell you right now. It's going for a bite, shall we? There you go. Mm-mm-mm. I'm tasting the spiciness of the chicken. Yes, I, that's the first thing I'm tasting. It's almost like Cheetos-like. I wonder if it's got the Cheetos on it. it. Tastes like spicy Cheetos. And the bread is just fantastic. The garlic and the cheese on the bread. Oh. It doesn't need any mustard or mayo or anything like that. There's plenty of moisture on the bread as it is the garlic and the cheese. It's like a Danish, it's very wet. Not wet, but moist. Oh, this is fabulous. Definitely use something to drink. Let's try out this barley tea, Let's see what that's all about. In Japanese, it's called mugicha, or roasted barley tea. It 
Very refreshing, yes. This is a good one, Moogie Cha, one of my favorites for sure. Next up is some grilled mackerel and it's 20% off, you had to go for this. Look at that. Grilled fish from a convenience store. Yep. Now I could have had him heat this up, but since I was hiking out into the hills here, I just decided I will just eat it cold, which is pretty standard. That is looking pretty good. Beautiful looking piece of fish. Oh yeah. Okay, let's stop playing with it. Go right on in for a quiet. Hmm. It could really use some show you. Well, it's definitely good quality fish. It's fresh. It's just lacking flavor. Mm hmm. You can't beat the price though. If with the 20% off, this is about $2.30 bargain. Oh, yeah. Cooked fish from the convenience store. Oh, and it's boneless. Killer. And we are down to the last three items. Let's have the other rice ball, shall we? This one's in the shape of a cylinder and it's shrimp and mayonnaise, one of my favorites. You roll it yourself. So have you guys ever seen these before? How the, the nodi, the seaweed, is separate from the rice. That's how it keeps dry and flaky. And then you roll it up. Oh, 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 careful, dump it. Just like that. So you preserve the crispness of the nori seaweed. Yeah, if it touches the rice for too long, then it's gonna get soggy. So this is, it's genius. Yeah, I'm going in. You'll hear the crunchiness, ready? It's what it looks like. I wonder if it's got a lot of shrimp in it. Mmm. Oh, so fresh. It's got a lot of mayonnaise in it. Mm, I don't know. I think there's vinegar or something in it too. But there's a uh, kind of a foulness to it. Something. Ugh. There's a sourness I don't like. Nah. That's too bad because usually I really like this. Mm hmm. But too much vinegar, I know. I mean, it's probably preserving it, but. Ugh. I definitely rate this a nah. Ugh, gotta wash out that sour vinegar taste. Oh boy, that was rough. That was rough. Let's have something sweet, yes. So this is, it's called Subu An. So An is for Anko bean paste. These. And it's heavy, pounded rice. Yep, yeah, take a look at the inside. Oh, making a mess, making a mess. Just bite into it, there it is. That's the anka right there, the bean paste, sweet bean paste. It's really soft and gooey. Woo, oh, sweet. Mm. Oh, oh, I like this. Actually, it's it's suba tsubu, which means there's the actual the beans aren't all smashed up. It's kind of nice. They're soft beans, intact. Well, so you kind of get to chew the beans a little bit. Sweet. Tastes more. Tastes more fresh. This is a good item. Yep, definitely. Mm. Last up is a black thunder candy bar. It says. Black Sunda, Black Thunder. It says right there in English, it says Choco Bar Japan. So this is definitely one of my favorite candy bars in Japan. Definitely bite size, yep. Woo! Oh. I love the crunch. It's got like a cookie inside. Oh, wow, it's nice. Love the crunch. 
Oh, it's a good candy bar. Milk chocolate. Mmm. And then it's like a chocolate cookie inside. Oh, fabulous. I should have grabbed three or four more of those. Oh well, maybe next time. <sighs> Alrighty, so that was the Lawson convenience store in Japan. And now it is time to rate this meal. So on my rating scale between one and six Eric heads, where am I gonna go? Where are we gonna go? What are we gonna do? It's gonna be a five star ranking. That's right, I'm gonna go to five. Pretty much everything was really, really good. It could have been better too had I heated up some of the stuff there like the fish and had I asked them for chopsticks and had I grabbed some shoyu, it could have made it much better. But just as it was, is fine too. Come, you know, to pack some stuff and come out hiking and then just eat. It was good for, it's basically a $10 meal. Um, definitely filled up. So good value there. Japanese convenience store food on the go is the place. Definitely, I would recommend it. So thank you guys for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, I look forward to reading your comments. We shall see you in the next one. Eric out. Hey, thanks for making it all the way to my end screen. So now what? Well, click around, watch a few more videos. How about checking out my Patreon account? Links are all right there on the screen. Cheers and beers, team. Get some.